Hello everyone, here's just a short video. I'm working, well I'm not working, I'm just uh, experimenting with a little, it's a Ford EcoBoost. It's the B-Max, a Ford B-Max and it's a 1 litre EcoBoost engine. And I am just, I was having a bit bothered with my very scan tool and I just wanted to see if it would communicate with the Ford because the other day there I could not get it to communicate with v VW, a Volkswagen. So, but what I did notice here was you can see that the actual exhaust camshaft position and you can see the actual intake camshaft position. Now the car is idling at the moment, you can see we're doing a thousand RPM. And I've got down here the, exact, the desired exhaust camshaft position. That's the degrees. I think that's, if there's a wee fault that would show a difference. But what I thought was quite interesting, see when I rev this car, watch this. They exactly mirror each, well, just about mirror each other. You can see the exhaust goes positive 20, 29 degrees but the intake goes negative 33 degrees so it's like exact opposite of each other so I don't know exactly the theory behind this but I just thought uh, does every car do this? I'm, I'm, not actually, I'm, I'm not too sure about variable valve technology anyway maybe Keith could chime in here but uh, I just thought that was quite interesting and you can see this one down the bottom here it does not move so I would imagine if there was problems you would see the difference in that there's exact there's a pid for the intake as well as the exhaust I'll let you see that uh, you can see that down there the glare's a bit bad so even at that we get, there's no difference shown there but uh, that one mirrors that one so if any's got any thoughts you can chime in cheers